Hello ladies and gentlemen in kindergarten through fifth grade. This week's assignment is going to be the same for all of you because we're going to learn about how to use cameras. But first, I'd like to thank you for your work that you did last week. I know it might have been confusing for some of you, so I'm going to try to iron out um, those details in future assignments. However, I wanted to share with you the poster that I, is behind me that I told you guys about from Mike Venezia. He's the guy who does the books that I read. Yes, I do need to read some more books. So I will be getting to do that shortly. But I wanted to share this poster with you. It says, to the wonderful elementary students in Brandywine School District, keep up the good work. Your friend, Mike Venezia. And there's the poster. So that's here at my school in Forward. All my Forward students, kindergarten through fifth grade, and my Mount Pleasant fifth graders have or will be receiving your art bag in your grade level distribution bags. Thank your homeroom teachers for putting my art bags in your distribution bag. These bags say, the art bag is for art class only. Please have this bag with you for art class. Please write your name on the line below and always keep this paper in your bag. We will use these supplies in our art lessons. Love, Mrs. Brenlinger. So if you can put your name, first name on that first line and your last name on the last night line, that would be super duper. Hey guys, so I turned my desk around. That's why the back looks a little bit different now. Um, I had a lot of junk on all my tables because I had to fill each 500 different bags with so many different art supplies. And I don't want you to see how messy it was. Um, I'm still working to clean some things up. Anyway, not that you guys needed to know that, but I wanted to share some info with you. Forward kindergarten and first grade friends may have already received your art distributions, distribution bags, but my kindergartners at Mount Pleasant haven't received their distribution bags yet. They're going to get them next week. So because of that, we are just going to take a little pause from using those art distribution bags. <clears throat> Please keep them somewhere safe while we continue to do art class using photography. And we'll be talking about photography a little bit before we go into our watercolors. So hold on to the bags, keep them somewhere safe. You'll need them and I'll let you know when. I'd like to welcome um, our librarian, Ms. Sastic. She is the librarian here at Ford Elementary, but she also is a librarian at Mount Pleasant Elementary and she was the main librarian for many, many years at Mount Pleasant Elementary. So my students at Mount and at Forward should be pretty familiar with her. Maybe not my kindergartners this year at Mount. Anywho, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that she's going to take us through a demonstration on how to use our cameras on our Chromebook. Guys, if it goes too fast, she's really, really good. But if at any time you're having some trouble, pause the video, pause her video and just, just practice on it. Um, it may not work for you, just let me know, but this video should work. Uh, Ms. Shostak checked it for me, so I'm so thankful to her. Uh, we work together here as a team, which is super duper. So again, Please make sure you watch this full video. If you've stopped it um, at this point, you're probably not going to know what to do for the rest of the lesson uh, because we are going to be taking pictures this week. And I'm going to show you, or Ms. Shostak is going to show you how to use your camera on your Chromebook. Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Shostak with a quick tutorial. I want to show you how you can take pictures of your work and send the work to your teacher. Okay, so the first step is finding the camera. If you could follow my mouse, you will see that I'm showing you in the left bottom corner is of your Chromebook is this little uh, white um, circle. You want to click on it 
and then if you see your camera like i see mine right here you can just click on it but if you don't see it you can expand the window and then you will see all the apps that you have on your chromebook and then you want to find the one uh, that looks like camera so click on the picture and there we go this is the camera waiting for you to be used so you want to take your work that you want to take a picture of to send it to the teacher but the best thing is to stand up so you can position the picture in the right way so you can see if i move it too close then the teacher won't see everything so the whole picture should be in this uh, screen so everything should be visible and you want to make sure that the text that you have on the picture is readable because you might have this button turned off so look what happens if i click on it see so it shouldn't be this way it should be this way so you, you control it with this uh, mirroring button okay when you are ready you want to just mouse and come to this circle and click on it there we go the picture is taken okay now i'm going to show you how you can find the file find the picture on your computer and send it to your teacher so uh, you go to the place where you want to post your work and you are going to click on the space where you want to post your work okay so this is the space and look here this is this little button that allows you to take the files from your computer and post them on this post so you want to click on it and then it will show you all the pictures you see i have a whole bunch of them if you took more than one you will also see them but sometimes if you have never used this before you might have your your uh, pictures showing this way and then it's very hard to figure out which picture you should uh, pick so this is the button that controls it you can click on the waffle and then it will show you um, the small pictures so you want to choose the one that you you feel is the best you want to click on it and confirm in this um, space here click on it again and there it is it's attached already you may want to send a short message to your teacher or a greeting here's my work and then you just click post and that's done you can see it shows right here okay so i hope this helps bye bye here you need to get your chromebook and i have my chromebook i'm gonna lay on the floor and i'm gonna take a picture of something on the floor notice how i am down on the ground or I can create my own still life. A still life is a bunch of objects that don't move that I put together. And I can make some fun shape or design with them. I'm laying on my tummy and I'm taking a picture. And I can move around different places to take pictures of my still life. I do not want to take a picture from above. We are doing a worm's eye view where you're doing your stomach or lay on your back and take a picture from, uh, or take a picture looking at the ceiling or things up above. That's it. Thank now you. Remember to post your picture in the discussion board like you do normally with your videos, just like Ms. Shastik showed you. What you're going to do instead of writing here it is, you're going to write a title or the name of what your picture is going to be called. Remember, that's your name, what you want to call that um, picture. Um, it doesn't have to be your actual name, and it doesn't have to be something, you know, somebody else told you. It can be whatever you think that that is a picture of. So that is your title that you are creating. Write that title and put that picture in just like Ms. Shastik showed you, and that way I'll be able to look at it. If you do have problems with the camera, you can just submit a video and we'll figure out how to get the camera working for you. Thank you.